for and good evening, Grace. Good evening, Elizabeth and Lewis. The vigil tonight, the candlelight vigil, is just winding down now, but as you said, there were more than 2,000 people out here tonight to light candles, many of them wearing white in honor of peace, and to stand up for religious freedom and religious tolerance, and also the people out here this evening said that they wanted to push back against anti-Muslim sentiments that they say are cropping up across this country in connection with the debate over the proposed Islamic community center and mosque. Some, though, emphasize very specifically that they want this center to be built. They said that they would be thrilled to have a center in their neighborhood where they could go to listen to lectures, to talk with people of other faiths, even to take a swim. But over and over again, the refrain from New Yorkers out here was that they wanted to stand up tonight, for religious freedom. A wide variety of people, many different races, many different religions, all supporting they say, the rights of Muslim Americans to build a community center. On the eve of 9-11, under the lighted tribute to those who perished, the light of candles flickered in the night, held by supporters of a plan to build a mosque and Islamic community center within two blocks of the World Trade Center site. Welcome the Muslim community center. The controversy surrounding the mosque has vaulted it onto a national stage attracting Minnesota Congressman Keith Ellison. It's a bigger issue of belonging and inclusion. They come from across many races, religions, and regions. Lois Baker from Wisconsin. God wants us to respect and honor and give all our fellow citizens dignity and grant them the same freedoms we want for ourselves.